Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Seal Mall type run of EV Emerald. Last time, we had a little discussion about the difficulties of completing the National Decks back when I was a preteen. For any younger members in the audience, well, first of all, where are your parents, and why are they okay with me being an influence in your life? Seriously though, you have no idea how much easier you have it nowadays, even if Nintendo now makes you pay for online features that used to be free from generations 4 through 7. Oh, and we also met Team Magma. Speaking of Team Magma, this time we're headed to Mount Chimney to deal with them. But first, a quick detour to the bike shop. And now we exchange the mock bike again for the acro bike. And it'll all make sense later. And now we're back here again on the slopes of Mount Chimney. So now we go up here to the cable car. Oh, by the way, something I want to discuss. The trash cans here. Sometimes, I mean very rarely, you can find items hidden in them. Not that often, though. Frankly, it's a miss. I think it's a missed opportunity. For those of you aspiring dumpster divers, the best generation for that is Generation 6. As there are trash cans where items will respawn periodically, and you can even find wild Pokemon in them. And here we are. Now, real talk. Team Magma are fucking morons. You know why? Think about it. Their plan to expand the landmass in Hoenn is to make this volcano erupt using a machine powered by a meteorite. Well, first of all, I'm not sure about the physics behind that, but that's besides the point, I guess. It's it's space magic techno babble. But they want to make the volcano erupt. I hope they're planning to do that remotely, because otherwise they're just going to get themselves killed. I really don't think they thought this through. Then again, well, if I can be frank, the leadership of both teams are a few screws looser. Rather, a few a few cards short of a full deck, one could say. Next up, we have Tabitha, the Team Magma Admin. And those of you who've only ever played Omega Ruby, well, you may be shocked to know that one at one point, Tabitha was thin. Yeah, when they redesigned him for the remakes, he put on a lot of weight. It's like, wow, he really let himself go. Also, fun fact, in the anime, when he first appeared, he wasn't called by his proper name. He was called Harland for some reason. I have no idea where they got that name from. I don't know if they screwed up Shelly's name, because she also showed up in the same episode. I can't remember. This guy likes to giggle. Anywho, now we get over here, and uh, this time I am definitely going to save because this could be a this could be a tough one. Okay, hang on, let me see. Nope, no items. Especially because he starts off with a Mightyena, which has Intimidate, which lowers your attack. Also, if I recall correctly, in Emerald version, you never actually get to see Admin Courtney. It's just Tabitha. <clears throat> but yeah, in Gen 3, Courtney only shows up in Ruby version. <clears throat> I 
And of course, she also got a redesign in the remakes, but in her case, it was more her personality. She got, well, Courtney's a bit creepy. I mean, she was always a bit like that in the original, but not that bad. Ah, uh, come on. Yep, 10% chance to miss. Come on, crit. Nope. Yeah, go ahead. Keep wasting time. It's not Mighty Inn I'm worried about, by the way. It's camera up. There's a crit. That's what I was looking for. Well, at the very least, because it's a flying type, I should be immune to ground type attacks. But it still knows, I think it's Ember. Wait. Yep, it's immune because it's a flying type. Sucks to be you. Should have used Ember. Which probably wouldn't have done that much damage. Maxi. Look, I know you're a few cards short of a full deck, but this is embarrassing. What's wrong with you? Were you dropped on your head or something? Bruh. Bruh. Why? Okay, that was just embarrassing. Wow. Shame on you, Maxi. Shame. I know. That's what I'm thinking, too. What? GG, dipshit. Your help? What the hell are you talking about? I did all the legwork. Fucking Johnny Depp looking bad. That's it. Okay, so yeah, the meteorite, you can pick this up. You can take it over to uh, Fall Arbor Town, and you can get Return from Professor Cosmo for it, which is a very useful move. 102 base power, at most, guaranteed to hit, and, well... 20 power points. That, that's actually very generous. We're gonna get some lava cookies real quick. These are, uh, basically really cheap full heals. So I will cut this and see you in a sec. Okay, so I bought myself 16 lava cookies. Let's move on, and I want you to look at something. Yep, it's another one of those! It made you show up at the bottom, but oh, it gets worse! Yeah, it makes you reappear here! You know what that means? As I hinted earlier, it means that if I hadn't edited the map here, I would be soft-locked. This would be the end of the playthrough right here. Especially because, for some reason, the wall hack code that works in most versions of Emerald does not work here. What the hell, dude? So, yeah, we're just gonna go up the, uh, the long way. Yeah, I think we're going to switch over to you for now. We're just going to follow the trainers here on the slope. That's one down. Keep dreaming, kid. 
Okay, so to go up, we're gonna need the Acrobike. I'm gonna show you one thing it can do. Press and hold B, so you start hopping. You can use this to go up these rocks. Oh yeah, there's also an item somewhere around here. And uh, you can also use this to, uh, if you do it in grass, you'll just eventually get wild Pokemon encounters without, without stepping. This is very useful in the Safari Zone, because it will allow you to keep farming encounters without making your step counter go down. Hmm. This looks suspicious. You'll want to remember this guy and where he is, because you'll need to come back here later. After you've gotten... well... Okay, you don't actually need to get your sixth badge for it, but you do need to have, uh... You have, you have to at least got your fifth badge and gotten past Fortree City. But that's for later. Yeah, he straight up tells you the hideout's there. Man! I mean, th then again, considering how dumb their leader is, this- I really shouldn't be surprised. What do you call a Team Magma Grunt with half a brain? Gifted. Team Magma, more like Team Mag- Duh! And there's a couple more trainers we'll take out before we wrap this up. There's a double battle down here, and then we can go up further to do a hiker towards the top. Actually, now we'll also uh, go and get returned from Professor Cosmo real quick. Oh, and unlike many TMs, return is a TM you can get multiple times but you can't buy in a store. In fact, I think it's it and frustration might be the only ones like that. I might be mistaken, don't quote me on that. Come on, hit yourself. Nope. Hope you like that, because it's going to cost you. Down you go. Okay, we take those. And now we do the bike trick again. Up we go. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, you could also get ashes here. I don't recommend it, because there's not a whole lot you can get. Oh, I guess there's items as well. well. We'll check that out in a sec. And this should be the last trainer up here, although, if you come back later, I think you have to... Well, I think after the fourth badge, there are trainers at the summit. Of Mount Chimney. At least one, I, actually, I think it's two, you can rematch by a match call.
Should be around here somewhere. Full heal. Okay, we take those. Nope. Nope. Okay, we got all the items. So, I'm gonna cut to when we get to Fall Arbor Town. See you in a sec. And now we are back in Fall Arbor Town. We go in here, we talk to Professor Cosmo, and now that we have a meteorite... Seriously, if all they need is a meteorite, you can order one for like 10 bucks online. If you know where. Hell, in some places you could just go pick them up off the ground. They're not that hard to find. And now we finally come up here. Forget that. I pick up the item up there. Now nah, I did. Using the edited map, the road that I made, and we arrive in Lava Ridge Town. I think we'll call it here. Next time, we are going to be taking on the gym. I'm really not looking forward to this one. So, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. I'll see you all next time.